was in the car with me, and she said, Ooh, y'all gonna have some good church tomorrow. That's a good word right there. And we got to start talking about the Lord, she and I, and didn't know that she was really saved as she was, you know, to hear on vacation. But I'm telling you something, between her and her husband and me in that car, I was com convicted, and I called her back. I said, Linda, she said, Huh? I said, I ain't gonna do you like that. Amen. I said, I ain't gonna do you like that. Amen. But I was I was I was going to show enough. I show sure enough was going to establish uh, a surprise. And you guys let me tell you something. You better be ready because as preachers, you can't be preachers and not ready. No, no, no. You can't be preachers and leaders in the kingdom. And I need to try to grab a hold of something that leadership in the church is not just based on the pastor of the bishop. Amen. Leadership in the church is based on all of us. When I was Tyson age, Tyson, you're 11 now? When I was 11 years old, let me tell y'all something. When I was 11, that's why I had a problem with parents that tells me stupid stuff act like me and you ain't never been 11 before. You understand? When I was 11 years old, I was running the whole altar gear of the Catholic Society Church. I was an altar boy in the Catholic Church. I'm the one that led my God, the priest down the highway with frankincense and myrrh. Oh, y'all right, hear me? I led them down the highway with frankincense and myrrh as they came down the um, they came down the road, right? Oh, the aisle, right? For the Lord is in His holy temple, and let all the earth keep silence before Him, world without end. Amen. And and, and so uh, so in in coming up as a little boy, Tyson, your age, I had my altar gear on, my with acolytes robe on, and and all of that. I had the censer. Right, says the censor, and I was walking down the aisle in the Catholic Church. Mike, the priests and the priestess, I mean, depends on how many, the deacons in the church was coming down because the scripture said that a child should lead them. Yeah. See, and so what they did was they taught us when I was Tyson age in the Catholic Church. And you know why I did it so well? Because I had a grandmama that sat down in the middle of the, in the center aisle, in the middle section, about three rows from the front. And she, when they were coming down the aisle, my grandmama would stand up and look across the aisle of the people to see her baby walking down that aisle. The joy that my grandmother and my oldest aunt that was Catholic and her husband and other family members, my great aunts and uncle that was Catholic, the joy that they had when they saw me at 11 years old walking down because something in them said one of ours is leading God's temple. I, I, I got a problem when we say, no, our children can't. No, 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 no. Our children can do a lot of stuff that they need to do. You just got to teach them. The Bible says, train them up in the way. I'm not talking good, mother. Train them up in the way that they should go. Are y'all hearing me? Children know how to roll blunts now. Children knows how to uh, how to how to cut up cocaine because parents are teaching them. Drug addicts and law, drug laws are teaching our children how to do stuff that guess what that was not a part of their purpose. Don't you know your child was not born and came into the world to be a prostitute, to be a homosexual, lesbian, a drug addict? Come on here, a child molester or a raper? No, no, no. That is against the purpose that God designed for you, your child. Your child Children was not designed to be alcoholic and operating with DUIs on their credit score. Come on here. Your children should be the head, not the tail. First, not last. Healed, not sick. Rich, not poor. Can't go down for going up. I know y'all don't like this good teaching right here. Your children, my God, are the inheritance from the Lord from you. Are y'all hearing me? Are you hearing me? Your children supposed to supersede you. Yeah, yeah, they're supposed to not grieve you. Oh, y'all miss that. Are y'all hearing me? Children don't supposed to grieve us. Our children supposed to supersede us. Come on, our children supposed to be at a place where they're superseded, they're supposed to read better than us, mathematics better than us, come on, life better than us, because why we are the example, we show them which direction they should go into, and when they see the direction, they begin to mimic what they see. There was a female astronaut that told some senior citizens back in the day, she said, listen, if you don't learn technology, then how are your children going to learn them? Then one day said, I will send them uh, to schools 
so that they can learn. No, 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 no. That don't work that way. That, that female astronaut Mike says, if you don't teach them, you don't teach them, then guess what? Because behavior is learned from home. Yeah. And expressed in the streets. Supposed to be saying right here. Are y'all hearing what I'm saying? A uh, 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 behavior system is, is is learned at home. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. When that child walk out the door and he see a citizen come behind him at the grocery store, he don't hold the door because he don't hold the door for his mom and him at home. Come on, if he out there cussing and whacking and don't say nothing when he see an adult or a lady, guess what? Because he don't respect the women's at home. Come on here, because you know when I was coming up, Mike, you know, you you younger than me, but when I was coming up, glory to God, and all y'all that passed 45 and up. <laughs> now, I made a mission in my head because he's from old school in Georgia. But you know, those that was raised in California, like Mike, them, well, Mike had always been a good kid. Mike had never been a, a bad kid. Mike used to cuss, but could, I never really heard Mike cuss. You know, you know, Murray cussed, you know, like Ryan never cussed. You know, if Ryan cussed, somebody really did something to Ryan for Ryan to cuss. Ryan is not just going, just open up and cuss. Now, that's a different story about me. Okay, that's a whole different story about me. I'm a professional cusser. <laughs> Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. But watch this, watch this. My grandmama used to say, and guess what? I'm telling y'all the truth. Because my grandmama was a professor to cusser. My granddaddy was a professor to cusser. I come from a whole line of graveyard professor to cussers. You understand? But, but even in the midst of it, I'm telling you, that's what I'm saying. Behavior is learned at home. It's because, watch this. Um, it, 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 when I came out in the public, Watch this, and, I, and me and my friends was outside, you know, in the streets at the cornerstone, and we was cussing and saying stuff to each other. When we saw a lady coming, we would elbow each other. Right. And then we was facing them like this, walking in the sidewalk, we all turned to the side to let that lady, whether she was a loose woman, a tight woman, a fair woman, an okay woman, we let her pass by because mama them told us to respect a woman. Come on, but not today. Not today. Come on here. You'll see them little fast hair boys will stand up in your way and look at you like you better go around me. Yeah. Huh, huh. I ain't moving for you. That's ain't that day and time no more. We have literally lost. It is the day and time of respect. Yeah. But because respect is not being taught, let me tell you why. Ask me why. why? Okay, I'll tell you. Thank you for asking. It's because there is a child that was upset. Right? See, Bishop Bailey was upset when Mother Bailey told him to do certain stuff. So then, when he and Lanisha got a certain age and they decided to get, make babies, right? That's not them, I'm just using them. Because Tyson didn't tell them no not to play with me. Right? <laughs> they know not to play. And them kids love their they uncle, right? I'm just using them as a scenario. So Bishop didn't like how his mama you know, did tell him to do certain stuff. Huh, huh, when I get grown, I ain't gonna do that to my kids. Huh, I don't care what mama them say. Huh, I ain't gonna do that. You know, same way with religion. No, no, we ain't doing that. So what we do, we marry people that's like the same, that, that had problems with our parents. All right. And then we have children and make children problems. Right. right? Because here's the reality, woman of God, that there is no blueprint for parenting. That's right. Sister, there ain't no blueprint on parenting. So we, we go as we learn as we go. Because each child is different. Each child have a different temperament that is needed. I'm, I'm going to get to this Hebrews, the 13th chapter now. Uh, the 10th chapter. I'm going to get to Hebrews, the 10th chapter. But watch it. Watch it. Each child is different. One child's attention span is different. Okay, Mike got two children. And uh, here's the problem. He got a, a girl emotional and a boy. Right? So now he got to learn how do I handle and, and here's the different part, woman of God, is because Mike is the baby, his sister is the oldest, but now on his term, his boy is the oldest, and his girl is the baby, right? Right? And, and, and watch this. So Mike got to learn a different strategy, right, than how he had, right? See, Mike was comfortable in his state of growing up. And then when he became an adult, he was still comfortable as an adult. Right? And so when Mike decided to lunch out and branch out on his own, I was afraid. Cousin, I was afraid because I'm like, okay, Mike, you know what? When Mike came in, I said, Mike, uh, you lost your mind. 
But I was trying not to discourage the brother, sis, you know. So I was just like, well, can you, like, you know, pray, make sure that's God, you know. Uh, you know, y'all have a conversation. Uh, make sure that's God, you know. Y'all have a conversation. Make sure that's God, you know. Make sure that's God. I just kept saying that because why? I know he was so custom just where he was, that living room. Are oh, you hearing me? That that whatever area he was in his mom and dad, he was comfortable with that. Now he's a man and he has to now find out that that zone of comfortability that he once knew is not really the realistic or the reality of his life. Oh, come on here. Because see, that was the, the reality at that time because I'm with my man. Yeah. But now when I'm with my own them. Come on here. When I'm in my own them house. Uh, you, 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 you see what I'm saying? It's a whole different reality because can't nobody tell me I got to clean up my Can't nobody tell me I got to take these dishes out the same. If I want dishes to be high, to be high shut all the way to the roof, can't nobody tell me because Mike pay his own mortgage. Clap your hands for Mike paying a mortgage. Mike moved here, never been in real a church, he, you know, he knew of church, never really been in a church. I'm his first pastor, his real first church of dedication. He came in, got an apartment out there in, in God knows where, in that forever somewhere, in the back of God's bank. It was a nice apartment. I went down, it's a nice apartment, but I only went one time. You know, I like to drive five to 10 minutes, no more than 15 minutes. You know, so I don't visit Lanisha, I don't visit Bishop, I don't visit Edwina, I don't visit Linda them, you know, because it's too far. You know, I know I, 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 I like to just get in the car and then go like right around the corner or around the bend, cut the curve, cross the train check, and we hit. Yeah. Honey, if I gotta buy a first class ticket to come to your house, don't worry about me coming. And if I do, it's gonna be once a year. And then I won't be back for the next five years. You understand? Because you gotta get ready. If my car break down, I need to get to a bus stop. <laughs> Calling the Uber gonna make me pay and leave in your house. I gotta pay to go and leave? That don't make any sense. <laughs> You feel my pain, sister. You feel, no, no, no. So Mike leaves from an apartment, right, and goes straight into a mortgage. At a young age, 26 or 26 or 25. 25 years old. And he's still in his house, even in a pandemic. And you know why? It, that's right, uh, later on. It's because, watch this, y'all, when you have to change your comfortability, yeah. when you have to change your comfort zone, you got to change your mind. Yeah. And, and I think a lot of it because he heard me preaching and, and telling him, and even in our little short times at the house, you know, that's nephew, so sometimes he live right around the corner. Right. And you know the funny thing, he live right around the corner, him, Phyllis, and Mother Cortez, and I don't visit them. <laughs> so y'all, don't, please don't feel bad because y'all live around the day. And I ain't never been to Deborah's house. Then we got that house and sent me a ticket. I mean, not ticket yet. I mean, yo. You know, address, I ain't been there yet. And it's not that it's not that I don't want to go to the house. When I'm moving to my mansion, I probably won't be writing you guys. You know, so it's, 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 it's not going to be like, oh, you know, you got this mansion and you didn't invite us. No, you know, and I, I, it's not. And, and what's this? Not that I don't want you guys to come. Your other doors will always be welcome. But for me to be a welcome man, because in this season of my life, I want my peace back. Yeah. Yeah. Well, in this season of my life, I, I, I want to be able to just lay down. You understand what I'm saying? And, and now I'm going to have my little cousin with me, so I got to train her. Right. Don't knock on my door like, like your auntie, my mama do. You know, my mama live with you, and she, when the sun comes up, the cock is going, what are you doing? Sleeping. <laughs> my mama called me in California one time, she said, son, what are you doing? I said, cooking. Cooking what? Sleep. <laughs> uh -oh. What kind of meat is that? Girl, that ain't no meat. S-L-E-E-P. I'm sleeping. We're two hours behind, y'all. Oh, I thought you. I said, girl, what did your mama see to school for? To learn your lunch and eat your books? You're too smart. You're a nurse. You know we two hours behind, y'all. When it's seven, it's still five here. Girl, when it's six, it's four. Don't call me until after 12 o'clock New Orleans time. Okay? I might be up. You understand what I'm saying? And then I might not answer the phone. Because see, my mama is not calling me to say, son, how you doing? How you feeling? How California treat? Let me tell you what's going on over here. Okay, girl, bye. Mama, bye. I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to you. But you've got to change your comfortability. Comfortability. You've got to change your comfortability if you're going to succeed and if you're going to uh, become successful. Come on, say it with me. I got to change it. I got to change it. I cannot remain the same. I cannot remain the same. Why? Why? It's because I'm excelling <laughs> and I'm exceeding. Are oh, you hearing me? So, so this week, this week, this week, 
this week. I mean, me and Bishop started off on Sunday, and then who was Monday? Pastor Lona and overseer. And overseer. Then Tuesday was uh, Apostle Sophia. Apostle Sophia and uh, Prophet Pam. Wednesday was Samika. No, Mother, Elder, Elder Deborah, 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 and Sister Bonita. And Sister Bonita. Thursday was Sister Tamika and, and, and Dr. Basik. And then Friday was um, Mother Cortia and Sister Laura. And uh, yesterday we closed out with, uh, uh, you know, no, 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 the HNICs. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, them two HNICs. And you can't, you can't, don't blame them, but blame me because I just throw everything in your lap. If I throw it in your lap and you get the job done the first time, you are the HNIC of me, okay? You listen, what you need to do, call Phyllis, call Linda. Don't ask me, call them. I'm driving, I'm at work. Figure it out. You know, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'm, I'll be like, yeah, I don't know. You don't know. I don't know. We, we, you know what, sister? What we have? We, uh, we, we have announced when you still call me. Why, Margaret Millers? Yeah, pay attention. Pay attention. Go back to the line. Look at the line. That's how I know you. You know, be studying to show yourself approved to be a workman under God, right? Dividing the word of truth. Amen. But listen, I'm excited. That the fact that y'all we we're, we're excelling. I'm excited to the fact that we, we're, we're at a place that we're growing maturing. Yes. We're, we're maturing of, of mentally. Okay, let me rephrase that. We, some of us are maturing mentally, uh -huh. physically, and spiritually. But we're getting ready to be maturing all of us on the same. The scriptures say we've got to be on one accord. All right? Somebody asked me yesterday, they said, sir, I've been watching your lives, so y'all don't do praise and worship anymore? So what you doing? You, you, you just come straight to the live. I say, well, if you want to hear praise and worship, come to church early. All right. Come before the live start. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> Amen. Right? Come before the live start. Right? I said, because I'm not about to give you a whole show, yeah. and you sitting out in the living room making memes out of our show. Right. No, 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 we know how to do that. You're going to get the word. That's all you need anyway. Right. Because here, here's what's your name, sister. Mm. Ariel. Ariel? Ariel? Mm -hmm. That's pretty. Mm -hmm. That's your mom? Yes. Who invited y'all? <laughs> Sister Lanisha? Why? She just smiled, so she just she had a big old smile. <laughs> What's your name, mother? Chandra. Chandra. Chandra, listen. Uh, by June 17, Come on. by oh, June right. 17, uh, what you worried about Jesus. for the last five years yes, won't be a worry oh, after June 17. <laughs> I was talking because I was trying to hear God what he was saying about you. See, I'm not like regular pastors when people walk through the door and one that I've never seen before, then they must be on an assignment. I must have an assignment somewhere that I need to say to them. Some other people will wait till the sermon was over with, hmm, not me, because guess what? You didn't hire me. Huh? Okay. And since you didn't hire me, all things stop. Pause when God say, pause. I'm right. What you've been struggling with for the last five years ago. By June 17, which is, uh, when is it, Saturday? No, it's Sunday. It's Sunday. Is it Sunday or Wednesday? Well, whenever June 17, you get the point, all right? Uh, next Monday. That's Miracle Monday for you. That's Miracle Monday for you. Because, woman of God, the last five years have been a major Tips and tops, so. oh, yeah. up and down, it's a roller oh, yeah. coaster, up and down, up and down. Oh, yeah. All that you've been doing is, and, and you mean, I need a break, God. I just need a break. And, and you, I've seen you cry, I've seen you be in the bathroom with you doing your hygienic things, and, and sometimes you have to break because you don't want nobody on the outside that bathroom to see exactly what you, where your pressure is. Hallelujah. And if the enemy could have had his way, you'd have been about to here. Glory to God. But thanks be unto God that God loved me and you both so much that he allowed both of us to be alive so I can tell you that what you went through for the last five years God said on June the 17th it's going to be all over Every after June the 17th the troubles that I've been seeing ain't going to be the trouble no more because I hear the Lord say tell my people in this room I'm going to trouble trouble for y'all I'm about to trouble trouble I'm going to aggravate aggravation I'm going to intimidate the intimidator and I'm going to kill the killer before the killer kill y'all Oh, y'all ain't saying, come on, 
Kadiosha. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And God said, I'm going to regulate everything that's not been regulating right in your body. God said, I'm going to change stuff. I'm going to get no shanda. God said, the healing balm of Gilead is here right now. And God said, I'm healing you in every zone, in every area, in your finances, in your spiritual, in your mind. Kadoshanda. In your emotion. I'm going to God said, I'm healing it even your yesterday. Kadoshanda. I'm healing your yesterday. I'm healing your months of the past. I'm healing your years of the past. God said, tell that woman one, I'm healing her from her mama and daddy's hurt. And God said, I'm going to let her tumble through this thing. I'm going to let her come out in the future. Let that shut up. I wish I had a witness right there. Let your neighbor say, she's coming out with the victory. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Let me go lay hands on that woman's chest and have a victory. Victory. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lay your hands and say, victory is mine. I told Satan, get thee behind me. Because victory today is mine. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to the Lamb of God. Father, we thank you for my sister's victory. As Sister Linda is laying hands on this woman of God, we pray for her victory. We pray for everything concerning her life, her home, her children, her family. God, we rebuke demons and devils that try to hunt my sister down, that's trying to destroy her plans. Father, we decree that all is well and everything is in divine order. Master, we thank you today. We glorify you. She walked in this building not by hell, a half a chance or by accident, but it was divine purpose and plan of you. God, so we say thank Thank you for this woman's victory. Thank you, thank you, thank you. In Jesus' name, somebody clap your hands real good. Come on, somebody clap your hands real good. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lamb of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My song is over now. As yeah. yeah. you prepare to sit down, yeah. it's over now. Yeah. It's over now. I feel like I can make it. My song is over now. Are you the oldest or the baby? The baby. Uh -huh. I, I, I kind of figured that. You're just a baby with the older mentality. Yes. Ah. You're the boss. Yeah. 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 yeah I, I saw it. I saw it. Only old she and that Santa dog. Santa Yeah. I know shy. This would not be a bad experience this Sunday as you was coming and you was preparing yourself to come. He said, Lord, help us. I'm going to the service. You know, because you get you you have you have a zero tolerance for a lot of stuff, church and the world. My God. That's why a lot of stuff aggravates you in the family, in relationships, you know, and whatnot. Uh, it aggravates you. It aggravates you because you are the leader. Amen. You are the leader. Can I tell you what God said? Honorable leader. Oh, yeah. God says she's an honorable leader for me. And when I tell her to do something, she stick to the script. You're frustrated because when, when you know what we need to be doing, sometimes mama too, don't want to do what we need to be doing. And stuff, and that's why we're in the rut where we are right now. And, and, and sometimes I see you, sister, when you get by yourself saying that they will just listen. You won't have to keep repeating the same stuff. Over and over and over, because an honorable leader leadership always complete a thing. Yes, shot. Yeah. True leadership complete, so we can move on to the next thing. Most leadership from the pulpit to the back doors and everything in between become frustrated easy. It's because we have to pause and do correction where we don't need to be pausing. We should still be moving. And the reason why we have to pause is because we have immature people on purpose with a mature mind. They are mature, but they just act immature is because they can't get their attention being mature. And here's the thing. Here's what people want in the, in, in, the, in, in the mature level, sis. They want the empathy in being mature. No, that's dumb. 
That's crazy. You don't get empathy when you mature. Right. Yeah. You get right. celebration. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But because you've been empathetic so long, people always empathize, empathize you so long and sympathize you so long that you don't understand there's time for you to be celebrated. Right. Yeah. And God said to tell you by uh, after June 17, your life is going to be a celebratory life. Yeah. 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 There are several businesses that are going to come up out of you. Several business. You're a dreamer. You're a visionary. You're, you're, you're right. I said you're right stuff down. You be riding in the car, driving the car, and something pop in your head, and you get to start memoing it, memoing it. And the Lord said, He said to tell the woman of God, He said, Tell you, He said, there's several businesses coming out. God will give you the ways on how to get create all things. You're not gonna work for anybody. No one will be your boss. You're gonna be your own boss. And God said, You're gonna be the Mando Shah, the Caesar of your family. What is Caesar? Caesar's the one that came alone and he Help is revealed. The help is revealed in a time of trouble. So God said, You get ready to help your family build in a trouble time, and they're going to learn how to respect and honor what's on the inside of you. And I hear the Lord say to tell you, even in your personal life, He said, Go tell her one in a personal life. Uh, listen right here. Thank you, Lord, for another chance to say yes. Yes. Uh -huh. Yeah. 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 Thank you, Lord. For another chance. Huh. Say it, girl. You don't know it? Yes to your will. Oh, yes to your way. I thank you, Lord. Another chance to say yes. Uh-huh. Yes. say that's a season yes. you in your personal life. Yes. God is putting you in a cocoon. Uh -huh. He's putting you in this cocoon. And God says, the only, tell her the only way she's coming out of the cocoon is by her yes. Uh, oh, God. Yeah, yeah. 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 Yes to your will. Yeah. I'm saying yes, yes. to your way. Yes. I thank yes. you yes. for another chance to say yes. Uh -uh. So you're in this cocoon, right? And, and God says, in this cocoon is, he says, the only thing way she's going to come out is her yes is going to break the cocoon. Uh, the more she said yes, is the more vibration will take place. Right? Because once the cocoon, what well, the cocoon is, the saliva of the caterpillar. But the, the, the cocoon has to become hardened. When it becomes hard, then the butterfly uh, swells its way out. Uh. The more the butterfly grows, the more the shell begins to become fragile and break because there's no need to be a strong anymore. Y'all yeah. just yeah. missed that. Yeah. Yo, some of us in an area where we got cocoons in our lives and we still trying to be strong inside the cocoon. But God said, tell you, we rather inside the cocoon. God said, guess what? As soon as the cocoon dries up, honey, you got to get up out of there. Because guess what? A butterfly only lasts 14 to 21 days of a lifespan. That's it. Because because he's always captured. It's yeah. not because his lifespan can't be long, because people love and cherish his beauty. Uh -huh. And a butterfly don't supposed to be captured, it's supposed to be expressed. Hey, yeah. oh, don't say right. It That's got right. to be free yeah. so that it can be expressed and celebrated. Are oh, you hearing what I'm saying? Yeah. Did you hear that, baby girl? He said, You gotta be free. So you can fly, yeah. so that you can be celebrated, yeah. right? And and so God, and the reason why a, a, a butterfly only lasts from 14 to 21 days is because people always try to catch yeah. it and put it yeah. in captivity. Yeah. Yeah. Because they want, but you yeah. don't understand the nurturing yeah. or the need yeah. of this butterfly. This butterfly diet is different from other animals. Mm. You hear what I'm saying? Am I talking or am I talking? You're talking. You're talking. And so there, there is some, there's some other appetites other people have that you don't need. Mm -hmm. And don't allow anyone to captivate you and put you in a screen tank or an aquarium. It's right. because they they see your beauty. Yeah. Well, beauty is not on an exterior thing. It's actual beauty is is actually the gifts yeah, that yeah, God yeah. has on the inside. Yes. 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 You know, people, yes. we, we we fix up yes. this body. Ouch. We fix up these bodies because yeah. we want to be looking our presentation. But on the inside, our hearts are black and dark. Mm -hmm. Are you hearing me? But 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 can I know? Don't you know when you, the Bible says your gifts make room for you? Yeah. The Bible never said that your beauty make room. The Bible says your gifts make rooms for you. All right. So in other right. words, those gifts makes you be beautiful in the eyes of the beholder. Yeah. That's why they say yeah. the beauty is in the eye yeah. of the beholder. Because yeah. somebody can see me in a different way than you see me. Uh -huh. right. Am I talking? Good to you. Yeah. So watch this woman of God. God told me to tell you that you the, you are an honorable leader. That's why things frustrate you and aggravate you as it does. Mm -hmm. But God said to tell you, just change your wording now. 
God. Now right. is yes. Huh. Yes, Lord. Huh. Yes, Lord. Yes. I don't understand this, but yes, Lord. Yes. I don't see clearly, but yes, Lord. Lord, this is working on my nerves, but yes, Lord. Lord, I don't understand why they feel like they are, but yes, Lord. And God's going to do it. You will be, hallelujah, before you reach 40. How old are you now? 21. Mm -hmm. Your business is coming up out of you. Your business is coming out of you is for a generation, the number 40's generation. Okay? So, uh, by the time you reach 40, by the time, I didn't say when you get 40, I said by the time you reach 40, there is going to be such a success and a financial status above your imagination yes. that you will never be able to phantom. Don't let no one get in your life personally, mm -hmm. physically, mm -hmm. spiritually, uh, in no other kind of way, mm -hmm. right, that will try to hinder where God is taking you. Yes. Now, I don't know what your education level, but I see three books that's dealing with law and economics. Hallelujah. My God. Well. Yes, well. Yes, she and I. I see three books. Right? And I, what I see is I see I see laws and I see economics. And God is gonna teach you laws and economics so that you can write success. On the level in which today's generation needs yeah. to know. All right. Yes. God is going to use you, woman of God, to change the trajectory yes. of the generation Hallelujah. from making the generation Thank say, Lord. This is how we do it. No, 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 no. God's giving you the law, Thank He's you. giving you economics. Thank and God will show them Thank through you. I know this is what our generation said we should be doing. Mm -hmm. But let me tell you what the king says yes. we should be doing. Yes. Can I tell y'all young yes. folks something in this room? Yes. Everything generation, every generation that we all grow up in having a culturalism. Mm -hmm. yes. It has an occultalism in That's right. Say it. We are not a part of a generation, we're a part of a kingdom. Yes. And I don't care what nobody says, millennials were in every generation. Yes. Yes. Is it every generation? Amen. And what sociologists, because let me tell you something, whether you might you may know this or not, but generations and titles and names did not come from Bible. Hmm. Y'all didn't miss that. Who that was, Mother Cotilla, that was different. When when uh, Jacob, I think it was, when he crossed arms, yeah. when, when he crossed arms, Bishop, uh -huh. and, and and they called that the generation X. Uh -huh. Jacob didn't call that. Uh -huh. No, no, no. Jacob was demonstrating what was sneaking, yes. trying to get a blessing. Yeah. Right, right, right. Watch this, woman of God. Watch this. When he came in, Jacob crossed his arms because he gave the right hands a blessing. Yes. So the one it rightly belonged to. Right. Yes. right? Because here's what's going on, Mike. Here's what's going on, Tyson. Uh, 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 Jacob had them two boys, right? Yeah. Right? And and one was too busy being a field man. Uh -huh. yeah. right, right. You know, always want to be out in the streets. Right. I'm out here in the field, baby. You know, that's the right. word. I'm outside. I'm, out. I'm outside now. I'm outside. You hear my time good? Is that what y'all say? Oh, I'm outside. Oh, I'll be outside all weekend. I'm in the field this weekend. See, see, uh, Jacob said what the boy's name was. Esau? Uh, Esau. Uh, yeah. and, uh huh? Uh, mm -hmm. No, Jacob, them boys. But anyway, get the point because we all we all tied this morning. You get to the point. <laughs> and that's how the person could. Right. But but anyway, let me help y'all with something. Let me show you something. I'm showing y'all something. This man had his sons, Mike, and, and he was sitting down there, and, and while he was sitting down there, the one son was always in the field. Yeah, yeah, Esau was always in the field doing what he wanted to do. Right? You got to focus on me. What was the other boy's name? That was no Esau and Isaac. Jacob Esau. Jacob Esau. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right, brother Bishop. That high blood pressure put like that. Tell you. I'm trying to tell y'all that's why we're here on time this morning. Let, let, let me make you know, I this I woke up this morning, I said, I catch him again. I woke up again, I said, okay, when I look again, I said, no, let me get up out here. It's 820. If I don't get up out here, ain't gonna be no church. But what, anyway, y'all get my point of track. Look, look. They, come, they, they turn around and crisscross this man's arms, you know what I'm saying? They try, uh, they say, what we say, 
Listen, I'm a, your, your daddy wants this food to eat. Your daddy wants this food to eat, so I'm going to help you out. Well, but I'm not the brother. She said, honey, child, don't worry about it. I taught him how to cook this food. Yeah. She, well, he hairy. I'm smooth. Don't worry about it. Yeah. I'm going to put some animal skin on you. Mm -hmm. He said, you sound like, right. but you feel like. Right. Yeah. 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 Sometimes you feel like a nut. Sometimes you don't. <laughs> You'll never forgive me, girl. You'll never forgive me. You know, he said, you sound like... But you, but you, 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 you even smell clean because your brother was thinking. <laughs> well, watch this, y'all. Watch this. So we got ready to give the blessings, right? Oh, we're crossing over. Well, not, so my point of the story is the crossing over was not the generation title. Right. The crossing over was actually giving the blessing to the right person. That's good. Right? Okay, well, but watch this. Ready for it? Psycho psychologists, or sociologists rather, they took different names and created these names and used these names up and said that these names is our generation. Right. Yeah. They say uh, baby boomers. Right. They, they call it, you got the baby boomers, you got the hippies. <laughs> yeah. Right? Which yeah. is, uh, uh, no, the hippies first, right, mother? No, baby boomers come first. The baby boomers come first. So yeah. then the hippies. And I'm too old for baby boomers. So, you're, so oh. you're too old for the baby boomers. So it feels you was a hippie, right? You did. Feel the hippie generation. That's the one. Well, all y'all that was hippie babies, and then you got the baby boomer babies, and then then you, no, I, I think no. But anyway, this pressure pill. Let me just get it back up. Y'all catch it and run with it. We're we'll gonna talk to that doctor tomorrow. I go back to the doctor tomorrow. Tell this brother. When I take that pill, I can't think right. Now. <laughs> I mean, I can retarded. But look. But anyway, so I am the. Uh, I am the generation, the Joshua generation, yes. all right? Then you have the generation X, right? But my point that I want to make to y'all is none of that are kingdom. Yeah. None of that have kingdom. Sociologists find out ways mm -hmm. on how we can titleize a generation. Right. Right. Then give it a definition, give it characteristics, yeah. and throw it out there and advertise it and make you believe that's who you are. Right, right, right. Right, right? and that it's not who you are. Because in him we live, Paul said. Yeah. In him we move, yeah. and in him we have yeah. all of our beings, right? Yeah. Right. Oh, and watch this. Look what Paul said. You ready for it? You ready for what Paul said? He says, in him we live, in him we move, in him we have all our beings, right? But for me to live is what? Christ. To die is what? Yeah. Okay. So if I'm living for Christ, I cannot be subject to a sociologist's the yeah. definition of who I am. Right. Jesus said in, in St. John Mother, the 19th chapter, he said, if this world was my kingdom, they would have fought for me. He yeah. said, but my kingdom is not of this world. Right. Right? So sister, at 21, this kingdom is in your world because this kingdom will make you a not be a woman. Oh my God. They change the trajectory of your whole femininity. Yeah. We have folks calling y'all cisgenders now. Yeah, you, you, you got them calling you cisgender. Right. Come on here. You, now, before women, women, you struggle with having a voice for years. Uh -huh. yeah. Now you're in competition with the person that you struggle with and the gender that you struggle with that is now want to be y'all. Men have stopped women from having a voice, and now the, you have stayed for so long till you want to be a woman. My God. And we are promoting transsexuality and trans men. And because we have messed up our men, have messed up our men, we messed up for so long that we have changed the trajectory of our women's, and now our women say we can do a better job being a man than y'all can. Oh. And so now they transfer themselves, call themselves trans men. Yeah. Uh, cousin, you can sit down, baby girl. Yeah. Cousin, you may not understand what I'm saying, but I'm going to help you by two more seconds. Oh, you hear me? Because, 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 because women, you have struggled for so long with having a voice, yeah. an opinion. Yes. Here's how y'all strong anyway. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you, y'all really didn't need a voice. Y'all just didn't show up. That's right. Amen. Y'all quiet. Because yeah. right. if we go back to the book of Genesis, you'll find out how powerful you were. Yeah. Awesome. Before any man controlled y'all, yeah. a serpent was controlling y'all. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that serpent had a conversation with Eve. And when she got through, she went right over there to the purpose that God planned in Adam and said, Come here. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. That's the power. The power. Eat this. 
Y'all gotta be careful. That woman say, eat this. Right. And just like today, I can stand and challenge the women because now our women have caused our men that have never wanted to experience certain sexual desires that our women have tapped into satanic and serpent serpentanic and disease demons and spirits that now we're doing things to our men that you were never supposed to do to a man but it was supposed to be done to you. Come on here because the whole the whole campground is messed up. And we don't have enough preachers that will stand up and declare the gospel of the Lord Jesus Christ. We build in platforms, we build in arenas, we build in all kinds of stuff except building the kingdom of God, the sound of truth and righteousness in the ears and the eyes and the minds of the saints of God. I know y'all don't like me talking like this. Hallelujah. But I promise you something. That the only way the church will get to the next level of victory, we got to change this satanic realm that the world has set before us and told us this is the way it's going to be. And you can't change something if you ain't willing to die for something. Come on here. Martin Luther King lost his life over 50 something years ago. Come on here for us to stand in the front of the line and now we are in the front of the line with our behind showing. Come on here, the man lost his life, never had to see his grandchildren, couldn't see his children grow up, couldn't love his wife any longer. He died for cause because he knew the trajectory of what the white man or any man thought of us as a black people. He said, we can change it. We stick together. He looked up and said, I got a dream. Yeah. 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 Then one day, yeah. he also said, I may not be here to see you, but one day. <laughs> And our black brothers can hold hands together and walk in fellowship. Yeah. Yeah. All that dream came to pass because we got white men marrying white uh, black women, and we got black men marrying white women. Or they ain't just holding hands, Martha. They, they integrate, they procreate with each other. Yeah. That's right. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. His dream was for us to hold hands. He ain't said nothing about us crossing this breed line. Yeah. 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 Are y'all hearing me? He said, I got a dream that our white men and black men uh -huh. shall hold hands and walk in brotherly love. He ain't told us nothing about us getting married with each other. Because we went from walking to marriage. You hear me? Oh, you hear me? I don't let nobody call y'all cisgenders to me. Because I got a daughter. Oh, y'all hearing me? I got a daughter-in-law. I got a mama. I got four sisters. I got all the nieces and nephews. When I hear people calling them, that she ain't no cisgender. She's a woman. She's the creation of God. She's always going to have, guess what here? She's a gatekeeper of a lot of stuff that a man would never be able to have. Her gatekeeper is her pelvis is curved. And men hours are slack. Come on here. Her legs are stronger than ours because she has to bear what we put in her. Our legs got to be exercised and be built up to carry our own body weight. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Look at that woman that got six couplers. She's sitting in that house with all them babies inside of her and still can keep her mouth. That's a strong-legged woman. Y'all ain't going to hear me talk women. I got more women in this church than I got a man. Y'all ain't saying nothing. Wow! Because the trajectory of the enemy is to change God's plan over our lives. I don't care what nobody struggle with. If you want to struggle with homosexuality, then it's your business. But when you get behind the sacred desk of God, that's not the church business. Come on, sociologists have made us a place where we talk about stuff and we have now make it doctrines. That's why the scripture said doctrines of devils are going to be destroyed. Are oh, y'all hearing me? Yeah, oh, I'm, I'm getting to Hebrew sin. I don't care. I just got to read it and get up out of here. But I need to give us some prophetic pronunciation of God, some prophetic impartation of God, that God wants us to change our minds. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And a lot of this, a lot of bishop, a lot of this trans, this transcending that's going on among our gender, our our, our gender, yeah. had a lot to do with both sex. Men and women. Yeah. We got men that are laid up with men that came back home and laid that spirit up in their wives. Yeah. Come on, you laid up with haulers and prostitutes and strippers and night walkers before day travels, hotel makers and motel shakers. You up in, you messing with all kinds of ungodly women, lust of the daughters of Belial. You sleeping with all kinds of stuff, trying to be like the, like the boy or bad boy. I, I, I screw them, but I make love to you. Bump that Negro. You going to make love only to me and nobody else or you out of here. That's right. Oh, y'all sisters are some small sisters up in here. That's right. That's right. 
Because I don't want no woman to tell me we're going to bring somebody extra in this room. Extra what? Extra money? Extra credit score? What? Uh, uh, extra, uh, extra sheets to put on this mattress? Some extra pillows to put on this bed? Because not another extra gender coming up in here. Because if another one come up in here, because I replace you. And you got to go. Y'all quiet. I'm not crying over somebody that don't want me. This many women. Well, because it's I'm listening to you, Pop. I'm listening to you. I'm listening to you, Bishop. I don't want nobody that don't want me. Are oh, you hearing me? I'm not going to be praying for you to want me. Because if I pray for you to want me, I pray for you to stay with me. And I'm wasting kingdom time with the wrong kinds of prayer.
talking to the men's now too. Because Father's Day is right around the corner. Yes. Yes. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Our women cannot be called cisgenders. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. They're called a woman. Yes. They are female. Yes. Transgenders will never be a woman. Yes. A trans man will never take my place. I don't care how cute I am. I don't care what you think about me. You'll never be more man than me. Because you had to search surgically fix yours. Mine was already pre-made. Well, 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 you quiet on me. Well, you quiet on me. Yeah. Are you hearing me? And, and, and when, I, when I find the woman, she ain't worried about how big my hands are on my feet. Right. To see if it's going to match. Her alabaster box. Because an alabaster box ain't number five inches deep anyway. Anything else is a waste. And I'm talking from a medical standpoint as a nurse. It ain't all of that in any way. You trying to make a man be something because you still got a demon of sexual perversion on the inside of you. Come on, and that lust for that spirit of insatiableism that's on the inside of you because you haven't been free from the last men you slept with. And that man haven't been free from the last hookers, whores, and prostitutes that they slept with. And they've been passing that cursed semen and cursed sweat and cursed bloodline unto you. Are you hearing me? Are y'all hearing me? You can't excel being a woman. You can't excel being a man. And you're trying to be what the world told us we can be. And these demonized pastors and bishops and apostles with all these demonized first ladies that's hookers and whores in the church will stand up and declare and say unto our women in the church that this is what you need. All these demonized pastors got to the place my wife, I God called me not my wife, but devil and you is a lie. Because you can, she can stand there and act crazy if she won't and say, shoot, shoot. Somebody going to say, here, kitty, kitty. <laughs> Somebody going to play your role that you ain't been playing. Lord. Oh, y'all hear what I'm saying? I've been in this thing 39 years. Uh, and I've seen some sisters saying, I'm not satisfied by him. Because he won't let me be what I need to be to him. He won't be as a first lady. Because he know the moment he pours in vision into me and into my life. And I said it before the congregation. I make the congregation and him both accountable to what God told all of us to do. Yeah. It's a sad, pitiful frog in the pond that don't want another frog to come up to the pond and sit with him so he can help me get some tadpoles. Are y'all hearing me? Are you hearing me? When you got Mr. and Mrs. Wright in your, in your camera going in the pond with you, you're going to have a whole bunch of tadpoles up in there because you're ready to produce and cause the pond to grow and let them fly get out and go get their own ponds. The spirit of insatiableism in the church. The spirit of perversion in the church. The spirit of lust in the church. And it's coming from our pulpits because we are allowing it to be so. Women, this ain't a mother's day. I ain't preach for y'all on Mother's Day. I'm just talking to y'all as a father. God never called you to be insatiable. Never satisfied. That you'll open up your hearts and doors and your hymen, which is the hymn book. I know y'all didn't know that either. Because the world taught y'all it was something else. The world taught y'all it was an ATM machine. It's not. It's not an ATM machine. That's for hookers, prostitutes, and whores. Come on here. But the hymen is a word that we derive the word him. Which is worship. So when a real man, the man, go and know how to worship in you. But a man which is end to end because you called it an ATM machine. It was never meant for everybody. It was only meant for somebody. Right. Some one body. For one person. For that one somebody that God called. Right? And when that one somebody needs come into your life, they're not in competition. They're not going to call you Beyonce. Because they know I got full option. Yeah. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. The spirit of perversion 
that have crept up into our churches. We can see it in service and worship. Praise and worship look like the nightclub. Praise and worship look like the nightclub. They playing funkadellas, chords in our worship song. They playing the chords of Let It Rain by Prince in our worship songs. And as oh, soon as he come on, you're, you're in, that part of that uh, of that that, that uh, purple rain, and he gets to play, uh -huh. and, and he gets to play, and, and the whole audience, yeah, yeah. But we say, come on, let's worship the Lord. Oh, because the priests of the house yeah. have not established yeah. kingdom miracle truth. Come on, yeah. come, on. come on, come on here. Yeah. Are you hearing me? Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't think y'all. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, 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 uh. Watch God says. God gave me two words this morning. Watch this sister. He gave me the word patient and accomplishments. All right. All right. All right. Patience and accomplishments. And y'all, if we're going to win over this enemy, we got to have patience yes. and we have to accomplish the task that God put in our hands. Yes. Let me say this, niece. Let me say this, Brother Bailey. We are not in competition with the oh, world. Sir. Yes. Amen. Yes. We're not in competition with the My world. God. Our gatherings are not gatherings like the world yes. gatherings. Listen, listen. When you, 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 did y'all remember when Jesus stole the little basket from the little boy? Was that a, a youth conference? No. 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 Okay. Was it a men conference? No. Was it a women's conference? No. Cousin. Cousin. Was it a leadership conference? No. Okay. Neither one of the conferences, well, it was none of that. It was a God conference. All right. Can I say something else? Watch this, Mike. Watch, watch this, Tyson. Jesus was having a conversation with the with the five thousand men. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. It was like a form of holy convocation of the Old Testament of the Bible because right. right. it gathered the people. Yeah. Right. Watch this. Jesus stood up on a rock. Purpose why in the in the information of Dr. Miles Monroe and Archbishop Ron Ash oh, yeah. because they did not have microphones in those days. Right. Right. So the people right. said on one level, yeah. and wherever there was a rock, the speaker would sit up on that rock right, right. so that the words would project. go out, project yeah. out. Yeah. Right? And that's why you're never, that's this reason that even now, just like I am now. See how I am now? I'm on the pulpit, the platform, I'm above your heads. Because right. when I'm above your heads, you can hear. That's right. 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 That's right. Right? It's no distraction to your hearing. Right. And, and, and this is where God wants us in leadership from the world. The world's supposed to be this level. Right. We're supposed to be this level. Right. We're not supposed to be vice versa. Level. The world's above us and, and we're under them. No, they're coming to watch it. Why would the world be, we be under the world when we're teaching angels every day? Sneeze, right. right. come on, talk to your own. How, how in the world that the Bible says, why are you so mindful of them when they are made just a little below the angels? The angels, Mama Barry, Mother Cotel, all they say is holy, 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 Lord God Almighty. That's all they say. But we get up saying, Satan, the blood of Jesus against you. We casting out demons in there. And look what angels say, hey, can y'all put us on the side and hey, 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 you know we can. 12 o'clock at noon, 12 o'clock at midnight, you know we're coming up and down, Jacob Ladder. Hey, come over here, talk to us. Can you give us something to do? Can you give us something to do? No, go to sleep and let us handle your children. Look what, look what angels say. Angels are saying, you know we hired, right? That's right, right. You are our employers. That's right. Come on, right. Come on. Angels are saying, you are our employers. Yes. We are your employees. Yes. We are contract by the kingdom yes. to work on y'all business out. Yes. Can y'all please let us do what we called to do? Because yes. me, y'all got this power, y'all went crazy. Yes. Come on here. Y'all cast out devils. Michael, go to work. Yes. Come on. Raphael, go to work. Yes. St. Clair, go to work. Yes. Gabriel, go to work. Because they know how to work beyond us. Because what we warfare and judge on is for what we see ex ex uh, 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 externally. Right? But angels go for internal movements. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. And this is why today, y'all, we are so perverted. Oh, my Lord. Y'all remember when Pastor Murray talked about perverted? 
perversion, how you pervert things, take it from its original state. Right. Remember? Right. And bring it to a state which you want it to be. Right. You, you, you like the chair in the house. It was beautiful when it was your mama's chair. <laughs> here, here, Phil is like, you know, it was beautiful when it was your mama's chair. <laughs> but you're going to hold on to that chair because you're going to change that rule. You know how many chairs you feel is trying to fix and change? I found some chairs and knees on the side of the road in LA and I made them go back and get them chairs. I went back all kinds of, well, I didn't go back to the fabric. That time we took it to a fabric person on Crenshaw. And y'all, my house was purple and orange. Yes, sir. Yes. I walked up the house and said, I want purple carpet and orange furniture. Yes. I'm talking about that orange that Lady Lanisha got on. Yes. It was a burnt orange. Yes. You, you, you understand me? And my Christmas tree was Mardi Gras. Uh, that yes. was I had every color, y'all ain't saying nothing here. My dog had a purple sofa, a chair, yeah. all her clothes. Come on, she just loved her. She walked in the house and started coffee. She said, guess this is going to be my club. <laughs> right? But watch this. Watch this. Um, all of that. But I, we took a, a, a table, and I painted it gold. Okay. And I took the buffet. I rearranged it to fit my current vision. Because right. it was made for old division. All right. Come on. Yeah. It was Phyllis Mama's uh, buffet for years ago. Come on. I, but she came back in the house. I just painted that thing all gold. You hear me? I know if folks sister, my folks sister, like, what the word that boy did to my mother? Well, look, honey's in here. We got to change it up. <laughs> right? We, so, change is good, but perverting, a perversion isn't. Right. You don't change the place that it start changing the trajectory of change. Right. And now you're making it perverted. Because yeah. right. yeah. it have no more meaning of its original state. Right. Yeah. Like that B word uh -oh. that everybody likes to call their friends of endearment. Yeah. Wow. A friend of mine said the other day, she said, was talking to her, she said, B word, I looked at her. So maybe she don't know. So before I slap her. <laughs> <laughs> Let me just sit here and look. So we just start talking. She ain't caught on. So we just start talking. And I said, you know, the Bible talks about how the world changes things. Yeah. And, um, you know, we went on. And I said, you know like that B word? Uh -huh. Don't ever call me that. You might be my friend, we may be cool, but it's still in my book mm -hmm. a swing word. Yeah. Yeah. Right. 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 I'm swinging. Yes. Yeah. Right. Right. Ain't no friends of enduring me. Right. 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 No, 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 go, no. Right. go find your ignorant, retarded, stupid, dumbfounded friends right. and right. let y'all call each other these names. Right. Right. That when y'all mad, we don't know if y'all tell the truth. Or, right. Right. Or, no, no, we gotta put a, a, we gotta put a line, hold a line. Yeah. Yeah. Come on here. Because y'all know back there was somebody you that B word, you was ready to swing. Right. 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 What you say? Honey, y'all forgot to take it off here and judges jumped across the fence. That's what I thought. You understand? But now, you know, that's a word of endearment now. Because why somebody changed it. The definition, the meanings. Right. Oh, you hear me? Even men are changing the definition and the meanings. They're not calling you wives anymore. They call you the B word. Yeah. How are you pleased and satisfied with a man calling you a bee? No. Right. right. No and you're saying, yeah, but you know, you my wife. You, you my, no, 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 Go talk to the mama. Right. Call your mama that first if she approved and you, you sleep with her. Because you will not be coming back and you're sleeping with me calling me no bee. Right. Why y'all looking at me like I'm talking right. to Jesus or something? Come on. Women's calling their husband bees now. No, go, go see what your daddy. Yeah. Yeah. Call your daddy that if he let you he let your jaw stay connected after you call him that, then you sleep with him. Because if you call me that one more time, guess what? It's going to be some chairs moving and some furniture moving out of you all truck. Are oh, y'all hearing me? I don't promote violence, but I do promote a butt whipping. Are oh, you hearing me? Yeah, that's right. Are oh, you hearing me? So why? God, now we got to move on. Why is this? Let my laugh. 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 <laughs> See, oh right. So I want you. Somebody said my volume my is being turned down. It's being turned turned down. down. So my value, so my value can, be can be turned up. Can be turned up. That's good. Yeah. Yeah. All right. My, uh, I was eating less. Uh, I was eating Monday. No, no, no. Me, me, and Lady T was eating Monday. So it wasn't been Tuesday. <laughs> no, Monday was eat was eat big. So it had to be Tuesday or Wednesday. So I went to go get some. Um, uh, you know about something like Bishop and the place me you went to? Um, but, but, the room? Yeah, the seafood a roll, right? I'm going to give you some seafood a roll. Uh, I'll tell you after church where they had. 
<laughs> so after prayer, I went. I called a friend of mine. So I said, "Hey, what are you doing? I'm waiting for you to get off of this fast because I'm hungry." I said, "Nigga, let's go get us some egg roll. Oh, I'm, I'll be there in five minutes." He got there. I already getting the ride because I thought his five minutes would be five hours. So I was getting the ride. He said, "Where you at?" I said, "Just order. I'm on my way." He said, "No, nigga, I'm not ordering this thing until you walk in here because I don't want it to be cold." And I'm glad that he did. Right. So I walked in and he said. Um, bro, are you going to ever get married? I said, bro, stop worrying about me. <laughs> it's so funny you worry about me getting married and you jacked up in yours. Uh -huh. I need you to work this thing out and get it together. Jeez. I need you to get yours right before you ask me any questions about me not being. That's right. right. But watch this. You know why I say that? I say this is because... I'm never too old to be in God's will or on God's plan. Yeah. I'm living my life according to what God wants for my life yeah. and right. not what I want. Yes. Right. Yes. Some people were never going to get married. All right. Then there are some people needs to get married. Mm -hmm. That's right. There are some people God ordained to be married because it's a plan to it. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Being single is a plan as well. Yes. I'm not promoting single. If you cannot contain yourself, I want you to ask God first to teach you how to contain yourself. Because you can't be out of control and want to marry a person that's in control. Because yeah. that's, that's not compatible. That's right. Are you hearing me? You got, women, you got to be delivered from all those men that flipped you, turned you, and bent you all kind of ways. Because you might just have a missionary man that just walk in and say, baby, I don't like doing all that. I don't like doing it. Well, when it's gonna be boring. No, it's not. It's not gonna be boring. It's not gonna be boring. You need to get delivered. Amen. And I tell this, this, I tell this to female pastors, I tell this to women, first ladies. I, I don't just talk like this to y'all. I talk to, to women's sisters at large that's in my circle. That's my yes. friends and sis. Yes. No, 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 no. That man got a problem. You got a problem. Right. Stop yes. listening to your your friends tell me what her husband did. Because yes. now you bring competition in your bedroom. Yes. Amen. And that's not what God ordained. You got the husband that God wants you to have. Right. Come on, he ain't one bell on. And that's me. <laughs> Hello. Amen. So you have to not teach that to men as well. Stop, stop that. That woman may not be like that. That woman may be your, the strongest prayer warrior. But now you're going to make her the, the, the worst, the, 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 worst, the best a pole rider. You know, strip people. Uh, yeah. strip people. You know, Mike, that bar say that. He said, I'm in love with a stripper. Uh, <laughs> no, I I'm telling you, you know, I did a sermon. I did a sermon. You remember I preached that sermon? I'm in love with a stripper because God stripped me from everything yeah. that I used to do. All right. All right. Yeah. Uh, I, I, oh, I preached that. That was a good hot one, too. I don't know because I walked up in church and I just said, What you preach? I said, mm, I don't know. I got to run in that song. Boy, that song was going hot on the radio. I said, look at your neighbor and tell your neighbor, neighbor, I'm in love with a stripper. <laughs> and baby, well, I promise you, Bishop, we killed it. You hear me? And day is a good while after church. Right. Uh, oh, you hear me? Because watch this, y'all. Don't make yourself be what God did not ordain you to be yes, in yes, the kingdom. Yes, yeah. Every one of you women's in this church, you are queens. Amen. Yes. Amen. I don't pass the princesses. Ah. Okay, all right, all right. All right, all right, all right. Because y'all didn't catch that. Y'all didn't catch that. Because our honor, the honor and celebration of a queen is greater than a princess. Y'all ain't saying nothing to me yet. And if y'all want to pass a pass a princess, go find another church. Because I only pass the kings and queens in here. Hey, all right now. Yeah. Are y'all hearing me? Yeah. Because you are greater than where you came from and you're greater than what you survived. Amen. All right, I got to get to my scripture now. Somebody say, get to it, Reverend. Get to it, Reverend. If I can. Because <laughs> you're not my boss. This ain't a Baptist church or a Methodist church. This is a sanctified church. Hello. Here. But, but Hebrews 10 chapter says, 10 and 1 says. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. I'll say it again. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. Uh-huh. And not the very image of the things. Oh, hold up one cotton picking minute. Hold up one cotton picking minute here. You know, I, my teacher, my grandmother's cousin, you know, Miss Grace Strap was my teacher. And uh, I could say that maybe. Anybody here that had a, 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 a teacher you could say? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. She was my cousin, but I couldn't stand that teacher. 
That lady used to Jesus. work. Needs that lady used to work on my nerve. She was a little short, stocky, pretty little red lady. You know, light skinned lady, but she had long, pretty like sister, but it was peach. She it was always peach because she thought she was a white woman. You know, my grandma had a set of straight stuff. She said, "Girl, you know, uh, our mamas are the same, our daddies are the same. You know, you're not black. <laughs> you're black, girl." <laughs> you know, but how, how, watch this, how did, but Mrs. Strap would just, she, she would put us in headlocks, rub, knuckle rub our foreheads, grab our ears, and pull us down. Oh, she had two boys like this one time. They was fighting. Come here, come here. Down that class, she was booking them kids with them paddles. I said, boy, them children ought to pick up and body slam <laughs> My friend said, well, why don't you, why didn't you body slam when she hit you? I said, but the problem is, she my grandmama's first cousin. <laughs> Then she have a right to whip me, really whip me. She have a right to beat me. Right. right. So I can't buy some name her. I really do. I wish somebody else would buy some. I will celebrate. I will buy the nudge and buy some. Lord have mercy. But but Miss Grace Strap was a powerful woman. I thank God for my cousin teaching me. She taught me never to say I'm sorry. Because she said I'm, and the word sorry is always identifying the character, the state of mind. She said I'm sick. I'm broke. I'm sorry. That's all the negative conjectures. Yeah. You know, she said you would tell the person is I apologize. That's yeah. right. When you change it and say I apologize, it's different from I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. That's right. right. I'm sorry means I'm good for nothing. If it's what they didn't good to come out of me, and I'm going to do that again. Uh. And again. Because right. it gets old. When you bust a person for doing something with the person, you say, baby, I'm sorry. No, you're not. Ah, you want to suck because you got caught. Yeah. I'm going to show you what sorry is. Bam! You're right. right. <laughs> Amen. Now get out. If you ain't coming in, bigger than you're going to be saying, I'm sorry, I didn't win outside. And I'm going to put a restraining order so you can't come 100 feet at me. Yeah, yeah. Are you kidding me? Yeah. So she made me write, I apologize 100 times on the board. Uh huh. She don't do that because I had a pretty hand right. You know, I said, she can just whip me. Whip me. I had to stand in front of that board and write, uh, I apologize. Oh, that was her, because you know that arm up in the air on that board, right? It hurt. It hurts. And I had to write it a hundred times, and I couldn't mess it up. I could do, I did it. No, 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 she said, you're going to do it right on that board. Because there's a board, I got a wonderful picture. So she made, oh, she got me. All my teachers got me that way. But look what she's saying. The law of Moses is like a shadow of a good, of the, the law of Moses is like a shadow of the good things to come. Come this shadow isn't the good thing themselves because it cannot free people from sin by the sacrifice offered year after year. Jesus. Did y'all hear that? Yes, come on. Did y'all hear that? Yes. Now read your version again, Phyllis. For the law having a shadow of good things. Oh, pause. Wait a minute. Uh, Dr. Lurica said, as me and my apostle, we love the CV. He has a go, girl. <laughs> That's right. My doctor is getting my language. All right. So come on, finish. Read, read, finish. For the law having a shadow of good things to come. The law have a shadow of good things to come. And not the very image of the things. But not the very image of the things. Can never with those sacrifices. The image cannot save you. Uh -huh. Are y'all hearing that? Uh -huh. The image cannot. Y'all two stupid people here. Come on. <laughs> the image cannot save you. Come on. Are you hearing? Yes. That's why we should have no graven image before us. Because right. image cannot save us. Come on. Come on. Imagery is what you create. Uh -huh. But can I say something to you? God didn't create us, uh, create an image for us. He created us out of an image. Uh -huh. And that's why image cannot tell image what to do. Yeah. All right. So God created us in his image yeah. and in his likeness. That's right. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Right? So when you create an image, you're now making it subject like you are subject to God, but then you want to live as if you're subject to Him. Yeah. We as image creation of God are, are, are subject to God. So when we build golden images that cannot move, that have no spirit or soul, Jesus. and then we become subject to that, which has become idol, it breaks us down. Yes. And defeat the purpose. Somebody say defeat the purpose. Defeat, defeat the purpose. purpose. All right. We went to that verse number two. Says what? For then would they have ceased to be offered? Mm -hmm. Because that the worshippers once purged should have had no more conscience of sin. Well, look what it says. If there were worshippers who already have their sin washed away, 
and their conscience made clear, there would not be any need to go on with offerings, sacrifice offerings. Look what 3 and 4 says. I read it so we can get to the next thing. But the blood of bulls and goats cannot take away sin. It's only remind the people of their sins from one year to the next. Oh, wow. Y'all hear that? Yes. All the sacrifices that we make, sacrifices of being disobedient, does not take away. Because every anniversary you are going to be reminded of that sacrifice of disobedience I have to make. Let's go to 36. Actually, let's go to 34. Number 34 says, For ye had compassion of me and my bonds, mm -hmm. and took joyfully the spoiling of your goods, knowing in yourself that ye have in heaven a better and an enduring such. Stop, let me see what Trey Romano says. Don't forget all uh, the hard times you went through when you first received the light. Sometimes you were abused and mistreated in public, Come and on. at other times you shared in sufferings of others. You were kind to people in jail and you gladly let your possession be taken away because you knew you had something better. My God. Oh God, that's a boss life. Come on. When you got a boss life, you always say, I got something better. Yeah. Uh, one day I'll talk about that another time. We can't talk about it right now. Some things that will last forever. Verse 35 says, keep on being brave. It will bring you great rewards. Come on. See, that's why you came today. You, your boss, y'all are bosses. Come on. Come on Keep on being brave. Yeah. Because you got, you're granted great reward. Look what 36 says. Learn to be patient, comma, uh -huh. so you will please God and be given what he has promised. That's it, right? Read King James. For ye have need of patience. Oh, you have need of patience. That after ye have done the will of God. That after you have done the will of God. Ye might receive the promise. You might receive the promise. Here's the problem, y'all, we're having. You ready for it? You want the reward without the will. No, that's ain't Bible, Mike. Bishop, that's not Bible. Tyson Taylor, that's not Bible. Here's where we're going. I'm about to have your church fit right here. He said, you are in need of patience, comma, after you have done the will of God. That's right. Yes. Come on. Oh, y'all ain't saying nothing. You got to finish the job before patience can take place. Got to be done. I'm through right here. You want the promise. You want what God said you have in your life. But you got to finish the promise. You got to finish what God put in your hands. You got to finish what God said. No, 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 not your finish, God's finish. Because yeah. a lot of times I'll finish it. You know, I'm finished doing it because I'm not excited about it. No, no you, you just started. When you no longer excited, you just started. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to move it on because you're not ready for this. Be ready. When you are excited about a thing like you are now, I'm doing this. <laughs> I'm going to know the true testimonies when your excitement is gone and All you're still right. working. All right. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. Right. Can I say something without y'all being offended with me? Yeah. And if y'all get offended with me, y'all just going to pray, tell God about it, and leave me alone. Okay? Right. Right. Can I tell you something? Y'all excitement doesn't root, don't, don't change how I look at you. Yeah. I'm looking beyond your excitement because I want to see what your engine is working with. Yeah. Yeah. I want to see how many horsepowers you got in this engine. Right. Are, you, are you hearing me say, I see that you got uh, 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 that, that, the new Mustangs, right? The new Mustangs, right? But do you know how to handle that new Mustang, the power? I know you got that Bugatti yeah. in your mind, but if the Bugatti keys was put in your hands, that you know, do you yeah. know how to handle yeah. the power? You excited about the stuff, but can you handle it when the stuff gets in your head? And a lot of people leave women of God. Needs a lot of people leave ministry when they lose excitement about what God put in their hands. Because that's where the real job starts. When your excitement is lost and you have no more excitement about it, you don't have no more passion about it, and it's not giving you no glory in it. That's when you put your hands to the plow and you really work. Because now we're looking to see you got it. Yes. Yeah. That's right. 
Amen. Amen. Let me say something else. I was using you because you're a leader. I was just using you for that, you know, scenario. I've had people come to this church. People have joined this ministry. Yep. People join this ministry. God told me to come here. I don't care yes. to see. Mm -hmm. All right. And then some people will wonder why a minister might don't shake the hands in everybody's hand and <laughs> Michael stand off in the corner. Andrew used to stand off in the corner. Yeah. Even Alicia would stand off in the corner. Yeah. yeah. Mother will hold everybody come to the door. You know? But yeah. but sometimes it's not because they don't they don't like you, but we've heard that story so many times. Yeah. Yeah. And the majority of the ones that told the stories was the one that came in for one agenda. Yeah. And know what I love about y'all? What I love about this group of people y'all here? Y'all don't have that. Amen. And I've been watching. Yes, yes. You better watch. Talk about it. I've been watching. Yes, sir. I've had somebody come into this ministry, watch this niece, join in the ministry, and say, God said, you, you my friend and my brother. No, 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 no. I know what you're trying to do, but it's not going to work. Mm -mm. I don't sleep with my sheep. Uh, you see? There you go. There you go. That's right. For you lust and the Lord at the same time. Oh. <laughs> well, are y'all here? What y'all look? Why y'all looking at me like that? Well, I'm trying to help y'all with something. Well, and that's what I've been praying, saying, God, send the people that's gonna come in. They have a mind to work. They'll put their hands to the plow. They'll know how to pray. And I've been watching y'all in prayer. I've been watching y'all on these lives. I've been watching y'all attendance. I've been watching. Y'all got a different trajectory than the last group of people. Talk about it. Come on. And if God will call me to be your husband, can you just be a member first? Yeah. Honor yeah. yeah. Thank you, my honor membership first. And in the moment I don't bow down to you, that's it. You have to go. You mad? God told me to leave. My time is up. You know what I mean? Well, hell, time enough. But you go ahead and get about here. Because I'm sick of one of these girls on the because I'm sick of you and your foolishness. Thank you, cousin. I'm sick of it. I'm sick of it. I'm, thank you. Come on. Come on. And that's what let me say this to y'all. With y'all, Linda and, 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 and Tamika and, and all y'all, my the members are here, uh, Pastor Lorna. Let me say this. That's what a leader needs. A leader doesn't need a bully in church. A leader needs a person that got eyes to deserve. Oh, you're hearing me. You ain't gonna be able to do a lot of stuff to, to me if, if Lanisha's around or Phil's around. Oh, y'all hearing me? Or if we is around. And we're gonna be watching stuff and seeing stuff just don't say a whole bunch of nothing. But be ready to bust a move and pull that pistol out on you. You ain't saying nothing. I'm trying to tell you something because you know she's from the Decatur where the crime is greater. Y'all ain't saying nothing here. Oh, y'all, y'all hearing me? We don't need lovers in the church. We need kingdom minded people. She looks like she ain't about nothing and ain't just crossing the wrong way. Cross out to the wrong way. Simon will give it to you quick, fast, in a hurry. And, and, and she got pearl too, but Simon Pearl ain't got no power like Simon got. Simon will give it to you real quick and fast, sir, until you come on out that door. Because I've been here a long time. I'll give up a lot of sacrifice to be under this main ministry. And before I'm gonna let you destroy it, I'll bust you to the white meat. We're not promoting violence, we promoting that the violence taken by folks. walk up on y'all the wrong way if I'm in the prison. Excuse me? Hold up. Wait a minute. Ten feet. What? What you say? Yeah. You see, then I start taking off stuff. You know, you're going to be grabbing my clothes. And, no, that's why I keep a t-shirt on. I'm going to pull this whole good shirt off of that. You're going to mess up my good clothes. Can I got to put that coat away from the cops. Oh, here, yeah, a tank top. No, I got another shirt on. See, I'm a good criminal. I'm right to beat the crowd and run. Oh, yeah. Are y'all hearing me? You hear me? Can't nobody do y'all nothing if I'm in your presence. No, 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 hold up. Hold up. No, 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 no. You lost your mind? I wish you would. Because <laughs> you know, as long as I'm by that car, if I'm by the car, you get close to me by the car, okay? That's your key words. Because I got a lot of weapons of mass destruction in that car. Jesus. Come on. 
You hear me? Yeah. So, but, but anyway. Yeah. Hallelujah. Anyway. But so if you 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 are in need, somebody said we need a patient. We need a patient. Come on, tell somebody this. We need a patient. We need a patient. Patient is very important. Yeah. Watch this. Um, uh, let's go to 36 first. You did it? You did it? Yes, sir. 37. Number 37 says, For yet a little while. For yet a little while. And he that shall come will come. Watch it. For yet a little while. He that will come shall come will come. Yes. So you have patience that after you've done what God told you to do, wait on God. Because yes. he's showing up. Yes. Oh, that's called shallow. Y'all ain't saying nothing. That's called shallow. Shallow going to show up, baby. God told Jacob, You ain't going nowhere. You ain't going nowhere, Judah, until, until shallow return between thy legs again. You can't go nowhere because I'm bringing a glory. I'm bringing a glory that you ain't never experienced before. Come on, let's, let's come in. For yet a little while, he that will come, uh, that shall come, will come, and will not what? Tarry. Come on, read. Now the just shall live by faith. Okay, there you go. When well, you got patience. After you've done the will of God, the just shall live by faith. But if any man draw back, my soul but if any man draw back, my soul have no pleasure in them. Yeah, that's it. Come on. I got, I got to move this way, mother. Am I talking good? Yeah. yeah. I'm talking good. Yeah. Yeah. I'm talking good. Yeah. 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 Doctor, doctor, I'm talking good. Mm -hmm. I'm doctor. Uh, boss is going to be my assistant. Okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm trying to tell you something. Yeah. I, I'm telling you something. That's why we got to be. All of us got to be a shallow. God's going to be doing some great things at Shalom. That's why I'm praying. Hallelujah. Somebody said rearrange. And reassess. All right. All right. Come on. Come on. Come on, Alona. Come on, uh, cousin. Open your mouth and say rearrange. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Can I say something to you? Right. Can I say something to you? All right. So here's what I'm going to say to you that's prophetic. And you can get happy if you want to. And I won't stop you. This time, okay? But but watch this. Whatever is in disarrange or disarray in your life right now, and God brought you here because God had a kingdom rearrangement to take place. Okay, 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 y'all, y'all, y'all. I told you y'all can pray for if you want to, but y'all pray with it. If there was a, something in disarray in your life and you walked up in this ministry right now, while God is rearranging and reassessing us and resetting us on control and delete, then guess what? You're at the right place at the right time for God to do his kingdom work in you. You got a right to give God a holler, a praise, a shabbat, a yada, and tell the enemy I'm in the right place. Shall come, will come, and will not tarry. Yeah. 
Yes. Now the just shall live by faith. But if any man drunk that my soul shall have no pleasure in him. Yes. Isn't that some good news? Yes. I said, isn't that good news? Yes. Yes. Look what 36 says in the CV in me and Dr. Bussick's version. Learn to be patient so you will please God and be given what he has promised. 37, as the scripture said, God is coming soon. It won't be very long. The people God accepted will live because of their faith. But he isn't pleased with anyone who turns back. We are not like those people who are turned back and get destroyed. We will keep on having faith until we are saved. Amen. 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 Yes. Read that last verse, Philip 39. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition. Oh, uh -oh. we are not of them that draw back to perdition. But of them that believe to the saving of the soul. Yes. But unto them that believe for the saving of their souls. Are y'all hearing me? Yes. Let me tell y'all something as I close. Yeah. There are seasons in my life, uh, the New Yorker people that's watching, and they're still watching, and uh, uh, people that's watching on Zoom. Let me say something to y'all on the stream, y'all. Let me say something to y'all. There are places in my life that will make me say, God, I don't know what we're doing. There are places in my life where the fear factor will try to get the best of me in this ministry. But I have to always remind fear I'm unstoppable. Sometimes I have to go back and have a conversation with Phil and say, listen here, you know what? You don't like to know good dog. Mm. You really thought you had me, didn't you? Yeah, I, 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 you know, you know, I, I, uh, I was really working real hard, you know. I had you for one minute there, yeah, you know. Um, and uh, I almost made you cuss everybody in that church and walked away. You know that? And, um, but, 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 it, it's still, uh, I'm, I'm trying to make you blind, that's why I'm making your vision look a little bit better, worse and worse and worse, but every time you wake up, you keep rubbing and you keep seeing, you keep rubbing and you keep seeing, you keep rubbing and you keep seeing, oh, y'all think I'm playing. That's time when my vision is in there, I'm like, oh, God, what is the world going on with me? And, and what I'm like, keep rubbing and keep seeing. Why? It's because I'm unstoppable. Yeah. I'm unmovable. Yeah. I'm unpredictable. Are oh, you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. I have to tell fear while I'm having a conversation with I know what you're playing in. Yeah. I don't know what your thoughts are, but Jeremiah 29 and 11 says, I know the thoughts that I think towards you. They're good. They're not evil. They got an expected end. Ah, come on here, somebody. Are y'all hearing me? Glory to God. Woman of God, I promise you, baby niece, I'm telling you, by Christmas time, by Christmas, by Christmas. I'm looking for this room. By Christmas, we all going to have some great joy. Yeah. I heard the Lord say, they praise me now, I turn it around.
Make your song over to somebody shout it out! Glory, 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 glory. Come on, glory! Yes, God, yes, God, I felt that. Yes, God. Yes, God. Glory, glory. Tell your neighbors and close your umbrella now. Because the sun is out. But it looked like the sun wasn't going to shine anymore. God put a rainbow in the sky. I got to get out of here, y'all. We got to get out of here. Everything. And everything. And everything. 
is in divine order. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. I'm going back to the city. What's my walk with Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The song is passing over. The song is passing over. The song is passing over. Hallelujah. Oh, the song is passing over. I'm telling y'all, the song is passing over. The song is passing over. I need y'all to get excited about that. Come on. I want you to get your seeds in your hand, your tithes and your offerings in your hand, and I want you to stand on your feet with your tithes and your offering. And if you want to bless your prophet, you can bless your prophet too. I ain't going to beg you, but if you want to. Hallelujah. <laughs> Come on. Let's stand with our gifts all over the room. Stand here, son. Stand on it. And say, I have because I give. I give because I have. And for this cause, I'm never without the seed that leave my hand. Never ever leave my life, but it's living in my future. In Jesus' name. Now I want you to take your, your envelope and I want you to wave it and say, The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. The storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Come on, bring your gifts all over the room. Come on, real quickly. Bring your gifts. We love each and every one of you. Those that don't know the Lord Jesus Christ is a part of